Welcome to City TV, your travel talk show taking you around the world with hostess Rebecca Blackwell. This week, City presents its annual ski show in Vail and Beaver Creek, Colorado. Join City now to see what's hot this year in Vail for more than great skiing and snowboarding. Join in on the fun both here and there. Watch City and plan your trip to Vail, Beaver Creek this season. Hey everybody, here's the Carlsberg Beer, guys. City TV and welcome to Rod's Bar. How are you doing? Do a little time. Well, did you just hear the crowd explode here at Vendettas here in Vail? This is a wild place, especially right after skiing, and they are celebrating because they all have a Carlsberg in their hands tonight. <laughs> and, uh, and there they are again, they're still doing it. <laughs> Okay, what can I say? I don't have to tell you, they love Carlsberg here in Vail. Mike McGee is with me tonight, and Mike McGee is the sales director. He's with Carlsberg in the United States. And uh, Mike, they love your beer, Carlsberg. They do like it, uh, but this is a very uh, enthusiastic after-ski party. Had a good day on the slopes and the down here partying now and having a, having a really wild time. One of Vail's uh, best um, after-ski party houses. Right, this is one of the places you have to be when the slips go down, you're coming to Vendettas. But anyhow, we have Carlsberg here tonight and we want to know where does Carlsberg originate from? Well, Carlsberg is from uh, Copenhagen in Denmark. It was uh, first brewed there 150 years ago. And in fact, it's one of the world's largest beer brands. So, uh, any international traveler will tell you that you'll find Carlsberg all over the world in over 150 countries. I uh, have to say it's very popular though here in Vail and I and as you said before very popular everywhere. What do you attribute that to? Well it's, it's just a very good fresh product and it's well known in major cities in the US and uh, New York and San Francisco, Los Angeles and all through Florida and, and Texas and people coming here from those cities will know it from those places and it's growing very well in Vail. It's becoming a, a local beer here in Vail for us and uh, many good reasons for it has a very refreshing taste. What's your formula? Um, well, we've been uh, observing the same brewing uh, formula for 150 years, and it's down to pure natural ingredients, a uh, time-honored brewing tradition, um, and very simple uh, formula. Basically, it's a pure cold water. It's the very best barley malt. Um, hops from Europe, European hops. Uh, our own Carlsberg yeast and uh, and combined those things make a very very fine and refreshing beer okay now uh, there's not a casual brush with Carlsberg here in Vail because you're going to be very involved here in a very important upcoming sports event and I'd like to hear all about it well actually we were here a month ago uh, for the World Cup downhill uh, races uh, which Austria dominated and uh, we'll all be back again in 1999 in uh, in February first two weeks uh, when the world championships comes here the best in the world will be here and we'll be here as one of the four major sponsors uh, some events in Beaver Creek but mostly here in Vail and we'll be back here with uh, great strength here having a, a great ski event that will be televised all over the world and uh, we'll be partying in Vail uh, after ski like we are now just try and get in. So do do come along. <laughs> try and get in, right? Do come along if you can. You'll have a great time here in Vail. I was I'm just going to say, how would you describe these people here in Vail? Uh, they're remarkably friendly people here. Uh, not only the people who uh, live here and come and ski here, but also the people that run the bars, the hotels, the restaurants. And you can get everything here in Vail, from uh, a friendly after ski bar to very finest in dining. And you can always get a Carlsberg here, that's for sure. Okay, so, well listen, shall we ask the crowd one more time?
more time. One more time. One more time. Carlsberg. Thanks, Mike. Nice having you with us today. We have had a very good time here at Vendetta's. Thank you. There's a woman I've been watching for. Well, you're listening to Don Watson in the background there here at Club Chelsea, and I'm joined here by Valerie, who's sitting right here listening to Don as well. And Valerie, I understand you're a fan of, uh, of Club Chelsea. We love Club Chelsea. We're visiting from Australia. We've been here a week, and we've been here four times in that week. And what do you find that you really enjoy most? We love the music. It's just so relaxing. It's a nice place to come. You might think it's quiet up here in Vail, but we're going to prove that wrong right now tonight. We're at Club Chelsea, and we have the owner of Club Chelsea here with us tonight. We're going to invite her in in just a minute. It is just hopping here. They have at least four different rooms, all of them packed. One of them a cigar room, one a piano bar room, and right now we're standing in the main bar room. And uh, Betsy Bradley, join me. Hi, Betsy. How are you? Fine, Rebecca. How are you? Well, I've just been telling everybody how busy it is here at Club Chelsea. Well, it's Saturday night at Club Chelsea. It's always busy on Saturday. Okay. Well, we have a chance now to have everybody see just what goes on here, but you did start Club Chelsea with uh, a theme in mind, and why don't you tell us what it was? Well, actually, we're, we're more an entertainment palace than anything else. Um, it's for the over 40 crowd, and um, obviously there was a niche to be filled, and I think we filled it. So Definitely filled it, and even to the brim. Uh, and not only that, I see some people that may have sneaked in. Might be just a little younger. Uh, <laughs> not too many. Yeah, well, we, do, we get actually, we get do everybody from 25 to 100. Well, we have just been uh, talking about your piano bar. Now, what kind of music do we have here? Because I've heard everybody saying that the music really brings them in. Well, we have uh, live entertainment every day. Uh, our array of entertainment is actually the best anywhere that you can find. All of our piano players are really upbeat and very, very talented. We have wonderful guitar players. We have fantastic singers. And we do entertainment from the time we open at 4 in the afternoon till we close at 2 in the morning. Now, you put a lot of thought in your decor here. It's, uh, it's uh, got a, a casual yet a very elegant way about it. What do you think? Well, it's upscale and sophisticated sophisticated looking, but actually we're all just here to have fun. Exactly, exactly. And you know, one of the things that's great about uh, Club Chelsea is it starts right after the slope slo uh, shut down, so to speak. Yes. Yes. What time is that usually? Uh, four o'clock. Okay. We start with live entertainment at four and we run all the way through till closing. It's just a fabulous time here at Club Chelsea and we're going to take a look around. There's, I don't know if we're going to be able to get to the dance floor, Betsy. It's so full. I know it is. It always you think they'll let us bring the camera in? I think they'll let you, yes. <laughs> okay, so we're going to be here at Club Chelsea tonight and we're going to go to the dance floor and, and, and to the piano bar and, and we'll give you a chance to see just what it's really like. And don't forget the smoking room. Oh, that's right. We end up there. That's where everyone ends up, don't they? Always. It's a very, very popular room. Okay, it's the cigar room and uh, they have a great humidor there too. Yes, we have a wonderful selection of cigars, single malls, ports, scotches. Well, let's click to that. Here's to that. Okay, thank Thank you, Betsy. We're really enjoying it, and you'll enjoy it too. You'll learn why girls just want to have fun when they sign up for Kenny's Double Diamond Women Only Ski Clinic, and you can sign up too. Welcome to Kenny's Double Diamond Ski Shop. Hi, I'm Heidi Bins Friedman, co-owner with my husband Kenny of Kenny's Double Diamond Ski Shop. And we're unique in that we have a ski clinic for women only. <laughs> this is special in that I bring together a lot of aspects of skiing. The Thorin Theory Seminar, private ski instruction, food, prizes, and a lot of fun. And you're lucky that you're in town right now while we have a clinic going on. And I'd like to take you around and show you a bit about it. Come on in and join us. One of the most important aspects of skiing are your ski boots. And here's Kenny to tell you more about that. 
First thing that we're concerned with is making sure that we have the insole into the boot. And then we want to make sure that our alignment is good. From there, we're concerned about heel lifts and canting. And at that point, we start to have a balanced skier so that the woman can be more balanced on the hill. Thank you. We are here tonight to start another Double Diamond Ski Clinic for women only with Jeannie Thorne and the Thorne Theory. We're all excited because we have a room of 30 women that are all ready to go and ready to ski and to ski better. So we have a slide presentation tonight with a wine and cheese reception and we'll start three days of skiing on the hill tomorrow morning. But before we do that, we want to ask Jeannie a couple questions. Jeannie, why are women not small men? Oh, do I have to answer this question? You don't already know? Well, um, basically what I'm dealing with in my clinics for women is that basically you can think of women as pairs sitting on their bottoms. We carry more weight below the belt and men are pairs standing on their heads. They're bigger up here. So it makes a big difference when you're trying to get forward on a pair of skis where you carry your weight and many women have trouble getting forward on their skis because they're carrying too much weight further back and down below. How many women do you think you have helped and touched in their skiing lives? Oh gosh, I'd have to say in the last 10 years of doing clinics it's in the thousands now and I'm getting better at analyzing and the women having more fun and quicker to do my work and um, it's with amazing success and it, I really enjoy what I do. Before we begin with the uh, ski clinic, let me tell you a little bit about Kenny's Double Diamond Ski Shop. We're located on the base of Vail Mountain. We've been here for seven years. We're a mom and pop operation with a lot of employees to help you. We have a full service rental department with over 700 sets of rentals, all brand new parabolic shaped skis. and. Uh, the latest in ski technology. We have a wonderful ski tuning department with over $100,000 of Wintersteiger ski tuning machines. We have loads of accessories and a full ski clothing department with about 15 lines of different ski clothing from around the world. A complete boot fitting department and ski for retail that you can buy and our guys can do what Jeannie does. If you're not able to take a ski clinic, the gentlemen in our shop are experts at fitting ski boots and helping you become a better skier on the hill. They have all been personally trained by Kenny and by Jeannie. So if you're in Vail and you need the best ski shop in the whole world, top 40 ski shop three years in a row by Snow Country Magazine, please stop by Kenny's Double Diamond Ski Shop and let us help you ski even better. So Jeannie, should we tell them why we really do these women's ski clinics? Because girls just want to have fun! When was the last time you experienced a round table fondue party in Swiss fashion? Come along with us to Vail's Swiss Chalet and learn how to enjoy your own fondue and enter the Roth cast drawing to win a pair of your own cheese skis just for watching this show. One of the real enjoyments about being up in Vail is the, is the idea of having a wonderful fondue dinner and we are here at the Swiss Chalet restaurant. We'll be meeting the food and beverage manager in a minute but of course the the fondue is a cheese story. It's uh, got a lot of cheese in it. And uh, we've asked Sasha uh, Stanger, who is with Cheese Importers, to come here and talk about the Roth cast cheese, which is used in the fondue. And we welcome you to our show, and we want to hear all about cheese. Thank you. Um, what we are showing here is Rothkoss Raclette. Um, raclette is a softer, buttery style cheese, typically the base of most fondues, quite bubbly. Um, this particular product is made in Wisconsin, Monroe. Um, it is made by licensed Switzerland cheesemakers. Um, it's the only domestic raclette made in the U.S. of A. under the Switzerland um, um, statue of law. Um, that's one of the cheeses we have showed. Okay, so this is one of the cheeses that we'll find in our fondue. 
And we're, by the way, we're going to show you how it's presented, and we're going to uh, show you how you can enjoy a real fondue dinner. But uh, now, what do we have? The other piece we have here is a uh, Grand Cru Gruyere. It's a um, Emmental type cheese, which meant Swiss, um, aged. It is an aged product. This is the product that'll give you the pungentness or the the strongness of most fondues instead of being so mild um, like the raclette. So this is a very key part to most fondues. And of course, uh, a little history on fondue. Is, is it a, a recipe that comes from Switzerland? Is that uh, where it all or, uh, originated? Uh, fondue dates back to the 1600s from Switzerland. Yes, it does. Um, but since that time, it has been accepted around the world, France, um, and most so in the U.S. of A., even more so now as an apres ski um, type product, very hearty eating winter food. There's just no way you can come up here and not eat your fondue dinner. So we are going to invite Christian now who is going to join us and he will describe exactly what the fondue has in it and show us how you eat it and how you enjoy it right at your table. We'll take a break now. We'll be right back. Here are a few words to help you plan your Vail Beaver Creek trip now. Resort Rent-A-Car, based in Denver, delivers vehicles that know the West. Whether you're planning a ski trip to the Rockies or a vacation to the Southwest, they have just the right vehicle, from four-wheel drives and minivans to convertibles and luxury cars. Pictured here, we show the Suburban snow-ready and looking good in front of the world's best hotels and in the snow. If you're visiting Phoenix, you can now rent a new Plymouth Prowler, 1998 Corvette Convertible, Dodge Viper, Acura NSX, Ferrari Testarossa, BMW Z3, Porsche Boxster, Mercedes SLK Convertible, or Mustang GT Convertible. Up next, a real fondue dinner with a chance to win free skis and more on Swiss type cheeses. We're back now and we have Christian with us. And Christian, uh, we are ready to have our fondue dinner. The Swiss Chalet welcomes uh, City TV to, uh, to our first tasting here with the Alpla fondue. And here comes our chef already. And we'll see what we have in the big yellow bowl here. This is called our Alpla fondue, which is a cheese fondue, just plain cheese fondue. And um, I'd like to explain you a little bit what's how it's being made, how it's being prepared in our kitchen. You have, and what you what's absolutely necessary since it's so hot, you have those fondue forks, and uh, we have little uh, cubes of uh, bread. You can take any kind of white bread, wheat bread, and. Um, what we have here is a French baguette that is really very tasty with the cheese fondue. Take your fondue fork, just um, stick it in one of these little coops and you turn it around while everything is boiling the cheese and you can see how it pulls already and um, just turn it a little bit until all the cheese is here and voila. And, and voila, oh, I get the first bite, Sasha. <laughs> you have to wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy your fondue. Mm, mm, mm. We want to hear your... Mm. <laughs> uh, we have Roth Koss has a wonderful offer for those of you that are out there watching and think you're going to get up here to Vail or any ski area. Uh, they have something you won't believe, and you do have to write in to do it. So, s will you tell us about it, Sasha? What Rothkoss has is uh, a pair of cheese skis. It is an authentic value of over $500 of handmade Switzerland cheese skis from Rothkoss. Uh, what they would like you to do is uh, enter a postcard. It would be a random drawing, and the first person we pull out will receive the free pair of cheese skis. It's that simple. And when he says cheese skis, you will see the close-up on the skis here have cheese that's actually on the ski. It's so cute. But anyhow, you have to write in. So we're putting up the address. Send your postcard. You will be a winner. If you send your postcard, you there's a good chance you'll be the winner. Yes, that is true. You can't win unless you enter. Shall we get back to our fondue? Back to the fondue. It's wonderful being up here in Vail. You will really love it. Vail, Beaver Creek, the whole area, and you'll come into the Swiss, Swiss Chalet and have this fondue. Thank you. Thank you.
can't leave now. It's all about to begin. Alpine skiing at its best in your hardcore, technologically correct ski wear to keep you warm, dry, and comfortable for longer staying power in the snow. Watch as we show you how to buy the right ski wear. Okay, now we're going to give you an experience and opportunity to learn about what to wear, what to buy, and how to be warm, dry, comfortable, and make your uh, skiing and snowboarding event something that you're going to love. Now, S Skip Rapp is with me. He is the owner of Hardcore. And Skip, we want to learn all we can about Hardcore. And oh, by the way, Skip's company is located in Colorado, out of Boulder, Boulder, Colorado. So, Skip, Tell us what you have here, what you're wearing, what I'm wearing, and, and how what we should look for when we're buying our uh, outerwear to go out in the uh, snow. Rebecca has fleece inside the collar here to help keep her warm. Uh, I've got a hood. This has a hood in the back. It folds into the, into the back of the collar, and mine does as well. Um, other things you want to look for is very good protection over the front zipper. Sometimes you'll see two pieces of fabric. It's called a double placket over the front zipper. That's very important. Underneath the arm, you'll see pit zips, what the purpose of pit zips are, to keep, allow you to vent when you get overheated. And this is what gives the jacket or the parka a range of temperature, depending on, no matter what the temperature is, you can wear this jacket in a warm day or in a cold day. You brought two of your uh, models here to show us a couple other items that you have that have some features we might want to know about. Okay. So let's Pam, well, you want to come down? Um, Pam. Hi Pam, welcome to City. She's, nice to have she's you. She's a local and an expert skier, uh -huh. and she also has a Gore-Tex uh, jacket on, but it's a little shorter. Nevertheless, it still has a hood in the back, okay, and it has uh, the pit zips, and it has lots of pockets. Lars, join us. Welcome. Now, Lars has uh, a jacket on that was designed for us by Seth Morrison, who's one of the world's leading extreme skiers. Mm -hmm. and. It's a whole new look in ski wear, and what's happening is, is you're seeing the strong influence of snowboarding and skiing come together. In snowboard clothing, you're going to see a little less in the way of pockets. Mm -hmm. Some of the features that are uh, so obvious in this jacket, this jacket has got about eight pockets on it. All right. This looks really slim, clean, this has very clean. Few, fewer pockets, which is what the snowboarders want, but it still has pit zips, and in the back of it, it has, if you turn around, Lawrence, it has a back vent that vents all the time allowing him to keep his temperature at a constant temperature. It also has the fleece line collar. It has all the typical hardcore features, but it has more of a snowboard influence. And I wouldn't call it snowboard clothing. I wouldn't call it ski clothing. I'd call it winter clothing for whatever you want to do. Exactly. And whatever you want to do is come up to Vale Beaver Creek because isn't this beautiful? Look behind you. Look at this. We've just got the mountains and we've got the ski lifts going here and we have a, a really beautiful day. And the snow's great. <laughs> okay, so it's hardcore and that's the name to remember. C-O-R-P-S. Most of our customers tend to be experts, but the fact of the matter is that the beginning skier and the intermediate skier needs to stay warm and comfortable too. And frankly, if he was more warm and comfortable, he'd probably come out more days and he'd become an expert. Exactly. So this isn't clothing just for experts. Well, we want to thank Pam. We want to thank Lars. We want to thank Skip. And now you have it. You have a really good story there on what you should look for when you're buying your outerwear to go out on the slopes. And it's hardcore. And thanks a lot. You betcha. Thanks to you. being here in Vail, you're going to feel very healthy for many reasons, and we're going to give you even another reason yet, another reason. Marcia Anderson is joining me here. We're at the Vail Athletic Club Hotel and Spa. Don't forget the Ann Spa. So, Marcia, we've had a chance to look around at the spa, and this is a very uh, professional spa. I'd like you to give us a, a tell us what you're doing. Well, it's it's very healthy because the spa has not only from mud baths to massages, but we have people who have been trained in keeping you healthy and the athletic club as well. You know, you think of a hotel as having maybe they have a pool and they'll have workout equipment, but they aren't taking it as seriously. This is really your business, and uh, you have 
professional trainers and well what are some of the, the things that we can do? You can rock climb which is we have the only rock climbing wall in Vail and our certified climbers can teach you or a group so it's great for family even for little kids as ages four or five years old that is wonderful and you can also get personal training even if you've never been on a fitness program they can help you out there all the know-how um, lap pool just about everything you can think of and then let's not forget all the fun you can have in the uh, in the outdoor hot tub absolutely <laughs> we saw that tonight you and 20 of your closest friends <laughs> okay now the good part about this is that uh, you can enjoy it complimentary if you're staying here at the hotel and you'll explain more about that or you can do it a day rate and how does that work well anybody who's staying anywhere in Vail if they want to just come use the facilities they can pay a daily rate or a weekly rate and if you're staying at the hotel you get to use the amenities for free as well as complimentary breakfast and spa and club privileges do you find that uh, people come up here specifically just to do the spa and they forget the skiing, or how do they pair it up? <laughs> what do, you've been here. Marcia was telling me she's been here for four years do, uh, doing the uh, director of sales and marketing here. So what, what do you find? I think people come here for both. Um, after a long day of skiing, you're going to want to take a massage or get a mud bath. But some people who don't ski that come with somebody who does ski has something to do, and it's a, a nice activity to really come and relax. It's becoming more of a destination in itself. And of course we don't want to forget the hotel part of it and I don't think we said too much about that and we also want to mention your beautiful restaurant and I'll let you do that. The restaurant's been mentioned in Gourmet Magazine and it's rated as one of the best in Vail by the New York Times and a lot of other accolades it's received. Um, it is right here in the hotel so it's wonderful for our guests and our hotel guests can have rooms, simple hotel rooms, everything from um, a hotel to a penthouse suite that overlooks the slopes. I just wouldn't think of uh, coming here to Vail without stopping off at the at the Vail Athletic Club Hotel and Spa. I think it's beautiful and uh, we've, we're glad we had a chance to spotlight it here on this special that we're doing here in Vail. Great, thanks. We're glad thank you. you. Thank you. Well, what you're seeing right now in the background is a new ice skating rink up here in Beaver Creek and Paul Witt is joining me now so that we can really talk about it and find out what's happening up here. Paul is the Director of Communications for the Vail Associates and we're so glad that you could come and join with us this beautiful Saturday morning. Oh, it's my pleasure. It's, uh, it, it is. It looks like it's going to start snowing, so we're excited about that. Uh, what all are we going to do while we're up here? And let's talk about Vail included, the whole area. Okay, well, we'll start down here at Beaver Creek. We've got, as you see, the ice skating rink here, which just opened, and it's marvelous, fantastic. Uh, and then we also have, as I mentioned before, the skiing up here. Uh, we have three different areas of the mountain that are that are becoming more European, interconnected, village-to-village -village skiing sorts of things. Uh, and then right below this ice skating rink is a 518-seat theater, performing arts center, that has just opened. It is state-of-the-art everything. It, 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 uh, Could you name that? It's called the Villar Performing Arts Center. I've heard about that, and, and it, when is it debuting? Uh, it actually, uh, the grand opening is uh, the middle of February, and they have a whole season of events lined up already. We're signing off now, but uh, I can assure you I'm going to be enjoying the ice skating, we're going to do a little snowboarding. That's the big thing. You know, lots of fun. That is fun. Okay, so join in and come on up. And, Paul, thank you for telling us about it. Uh, we're having a good time. We're enjoying it. Thanks a lot. My pleasure. Let's thank see you. the snow later. Yeah, I'll, I'll be out <laughs> doing my dance. <laughs> for efficient, timely ground transportation service between your airport and your mountain destination, there is one company you can rely on, Airlink Resort Shuttle. Airlink Resort Shuttle and the skier bus systems at each resort eliminate the hassles of finding a parking spot for a rental car you won't need. So take the relaxing way on your vacation. Take Airlink Resort Shuttle. With over 14 years of experience behind us, you can trust Airlink Resort Shuttle to accommodate your needs safely and professionally. Thanks for watching our Rocky Mountain Ski Special in Vail and Beaver Creek, Colorado. For more information about this show and City TV, please call 310-659-4477. This show is a Blackwell Group production. Next week, more on Vail Beaver Creek at 6 p.m. on this cable station.